It's Friday, and normally on Fridays, Seven would be in Knoxville right now, and Dr. Ursini would be sending me the weekly Baby Seven update with some sort of educational topic. Even though Seven's not at the University of Tennessee anymore, he's home, we still wanna keep the education flowing. So, we are starting weekly talks, regardless if Seven's there or not, to keep y'all educated and answering your questions. So here's Dr. Ursini with this week's talk. Welcome to volume one of Educational Talks Without Seven. We miss him, he looks so happy at home, so happy for him. Barking on an educational journey together. So this is Rocky. Rocky is just a young guy. He's here just for some conditioning. We're gonna use him to show you guys some mobility and strengthening exercises we do specifically for the back and the core. So the first one we're gonna do is called a sternal lift. And so I usually use just a, a key and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to choke up on the key. We, do, we don't want to be mean or malicious, but just have something that's just a little bit abrasive it, only because I don't have fingernails. So some people with fingernails, this will be fine. A hoof pick or a comb would also work fine. And what we're going to do, we're going to stand at his shoulder so that we stay nice and safe. And then we're just going to use this key to just swipe on his sternum. And you'll see what he's going to do is actually kind of a little crunch here. If he'll stand still bob rocket and then we're asking him to pick himself up here as you can see he comes in actually picks his back up a little bit and does a little crunch for us the other one is going to be a butt tuck and so what we're going to do again stand to the side so that you're safe and then just gentle swipes and you're going to increase the pressure until you get the response you want so the response you want is him to actually flex here and pick up his back Good job, Rocket. There you go. Way to go, buddy. And you want to just keep swiping both of those for, again, kind of a 10-second hold. Rocky's not being the best for us today, but you'll get the idea. So, as the name implies, we're going to do an active baited stretch, so it's important that we're not pulling them. I have your carrots. And we're going to ask him to bend to his elbow. And what's most important is not necessarily just to get there, but we want it to be a hold. Think of this more as like a yoga Pilates type thing. So he's doing great here. He's just gonna come and he's gonna hold and he's gonna lick this carrot for a nice 10 second hold. There you go. Let him chew that. And then the next one we're gonna do is coming around to his flank, close to his stifle, and again, hoping for a 10 second hold. This can be hard for some horses, so again, work in progress. Try and get him around as far as he can possibly get to try and reach his hocks. And that's the one that really bends and gets lateral bending all the way through the back. 